Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to take any visualization on Tableau Public and use it as a template for your own data. Here's how we do it. First I'm going to go over to my Tableau Public profile and click on the Favorites tab. I'm going to scroll down through my favorites until I find a visualization that I like. Now you can always search Tableau Public as well. I'm just going through my favorites as an example. This one here by Priya Padam. She always does beautiful designs so I'm pretty sure it's something that my audience will like. Really simple. Sales dashboard, it's got some spark lines, a map, and some bar charts. Great, this is exactly what I'm looking for. The first step then is to download the workbook. To do that, click on the download button, choose Tableau workbook, and then click on the download button. Switch over to Tableau and open up that workbook. Now we need to take our new data set and import it into Tableau. The data set that I'm using is for a fictitious soft drink sales company. We have products, companies, categories, sales, etc very similar to the original dashboard that we're going to be using as a template. Let's go back over to Tableau and let's choose Add Data Source. I'm going to choose More in the To a File section and I'm going to pick my Soft Drink Sales Data Source. Click Open. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to a new sheet. Okay, we've got our data source connected now. Let's right click on the old data source and choose Replace Data Source. We only have one option on our replacement because we only have one other data source in this workbook. Click on OK. Tableau is going to go through the process now. Go ahead and click through any of the messages you get, and Tableau will go ahead and swap out the data source. We're going to end up with lots and lots of errors, but don't worry about that. We're going to fix those. To avoid any confusion, I'm now going to right click on the old data source and I'm going to close it. Notice that I didn't get any error messages because that data source is no longer used in the workbook. Let's have a look now at the fields we want to swap out. If I go down to my metrics, you see I have sales that has a red exclamation mark in it. That's because sales doesn't exist in our new data source. It's called revenue. So I'm going to right click on the sales field and choose replace references. I'm going to choose revenue. Click on OK. That cleans up quite a few. In our new data set, quantity is represented as units sold. Right click on quantity and choose replace references and type in units sold and click on OK. Now how about profit? It got renamed as profit one in the old data source for some reason. So let's right click on that field and choose replace references and we're going to choose profit from the new data source. Click on OK. Let's now look up at our dimensions. Order date is represented by purchase date. Right click on order date, choose replace references and choose purchase date. Click on OK. Manufacturer is going to get replaced by company. We're going to replace state slash province with state. We're going to replace city with customer city. We're going to replace subcategory with product. Now we want segment to be replaced by region, but we don't have a region field in our view. But we're going to build one. Double click on customer state, and if you get a blank map, click on the 50 unknown on the bottom right, choose edit locations, and change the country to USA. Click on OK. I'm now going to create custom regions. Now lasso those on the east coast, choose group, rename that element in the group to the east. Lasso those in the west, right click, group, and let's rename that group as the west. Lasso everything in the middle, right click, choose group, and then rename that one as central. It's now called customer state group, but we want it to be a region. Right click on customer state group and choose rename. Call it region. Now we can replace the segment field with our region. Click on OK. We're pretty far along now. There's a few errors in the dimensions still, but down in the measures, we got rid of all of the error messages. Let's go over to our dashboard and see what's working and what's not. Okay, looks pretty good. My colors could use a bit of work. So I'm gonna go to my sales by segment sheet, and I'm gonna rename this as sales by region. This sheet confuses me a bit. I've got two colors that are both below the reference line, so that doesn't really make sense. So I need to do a bit more investigation. Let's have a look at our parameters one at a time. So our metric swap parameter is sales, profit, and orders. Great. Edit our selected subcategory parameter, and we see a list of values here. But remember, we replaced subcategory with segment. So I'm gonna change the parameter. In the allowable values, choose all, and then switch it back to a list. Choose add values from, and choose product. Click on okay. Let's now look at this first calculation. Metric swap calc current year. Edit that calculation. We have sales current year, profit current year, and total orders current year. So let's look at each of those individually. Sales current year. Right, so this says, if the purchase date is the current year, then revenue. Excellent. So we must have another parameter down here. Right click on year and choose edit. 
We want to reset this list. In allowable values, choose all, then choose list, add values from, and then year. Click on OK. Right click on the year field, and let's show the parameter and pick 2023. Let's now look at our metric swap calc prior year. This is looking at sales prior year, profit prior year, and total orders prior year. Let's start with sales prior year. It's looking at the revenue from the selected year minus one. So that looks good. Click on OK. Let's now look at the field that's on the color shelf. That one's called max metric current year. Right click on that field and choose edit. This calculation is just checking whether the current year is less than or equal to the prior year. Okay, so two colors make sense then. We only want to highlight the bar that is the tallest. Let's edit our color shelf, go back to Priya's visualization, and use the colors that she has. In my true, I'm going to use my color picker and pick the same color blue she's using. Click on OK. On the false, choose the color picker again, and I'm going to choose that lighter color. Click on OK, and then OK again. And let's go back over to the dashboard. All right, so the sales by region looks good. Let's go to sales by manufacturers. Now manufacturer, we swapped out for company, but we don't have 10 companies. So I'm just gonna call this sales by company. Click on okay. We again need to change the colors. Double click on the color palette, double click on true and the color picker and then the blue. Click on okay, double click on the false and repeat the same process. Click on okay and then okay again. Down on the bottom left, sales by category looks right. In the bottom middle, sales by subcategory. This should actually be sales by product. Click on OK. And then we have our top 10 customers. So that looks good too. OK, I think we're good to go. Let's now try the different buttons that Priya has on here. All right, so we've got some issues with the colors. If we go back over to her dashboard, you'll see the color switch based on the one that you pick. The one that you choose should go to a darker blue. So let's go to that sheet. Our false color should be that lighter blue. Double click on the color palette, choose the picker, and choose that lighter blue. Click on OK. Click on OK again. The true should be that darker blue. Click on OK. Click on OK again. And again, the false should be our lighter blue. We have to cycle through the different options to make sure that all the colors get set correctly. Let's go back to our dashboard and click on sales. Now sales is the wrong color, so let's go back to the sheet again. Since sales is true, that should be the darker blue. Click on OK. Click on OK again. And the false should be the lighter color. Go back to the dashboard and one more option. Click on orders. Go to that sheet, double click on true, double click on the color, and pick the correct color. Click on OK and OK again. And now it looks like we're good to go with those. Now for some reason, the buttons are cut off a bit. So we're gonna have to figure out what's wrong with that. Let's put it in full screen mode and our buttons still don't look quite right. Let's exit out of the dashboard and go back to the sheet. It looks like all of these are shifted to the right. So let's see if we can fix that. I'm gonna double click in the columns and set this to a zero. Double click in the second one and set this one to the sum of zero. And same thing for the third one. Set it to the sum of zero. Now let's go back over to our dashboard and see if that fixed the problem. There we go. So it looks like they were just off center. So it looks like we've swapped out everything in the dashboard. We've taken Priya's original dashboard and swapped it out with our own data to make our own sales dashboard. This is how you use any visualization on Tableau Public as a template. The most important thing is to do the field to field mapping. Once you do that, it's really just a matter of formatting and cleaning things up. I hope you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and click on subscribe. Have a good day.